There's a little effect uh, known to psychologists and scientists uh, called the Hawthorne effect, which is basically, simply put, um, when a person is made to do a task by someone, their efficiency and effectiveness in that task increases when they are aware of being actively observed. Someone doing the exact same task will do that task less effectively if there's not someone over their shoulder keeping watch. And I think there are two sort of um, underlining reasons for this. One is sort of we always want to play up to authority and in a scientific experiment where we are basically lab rats and we have the genius behind us, the expert, we are going to want to appease them and do our best at the job we have been given because everyone wants, even if they don't know the person, they want to feel good and feel the best they can and express, you know, the highest form of themselves and their doings to observers. Uh, and secondly, I think it's this sort of narcissism within the human nature, which when we are watched, when we are being viewed, we feel sort of competitive. We want to do the job, especially if it's a group task. If there's three people doing the job and you're the only one having your shoulders stared down, you know the other two aren't, you'll want to do better. You'll want to try harder because you, you alone want to be the best figure. Even if you like and want the people around you to do good in the side, Co not even cognitively, subconsciously, you want to be doing the best, you want to be the best, you want to be the winner, the most effective, you want the highest score, and having a person creeping over your shoulder, constantly looking and observing and checking your work, making no comment, making no observation, making no direct uh, reflection upon you, just there observing, will improve your efficiency because you want to play up and you want to be good, but you want to be the best. The human arrogance comes into it. Yes, the um, goal for the greatest comes into it, but so does the goal for the arrogance. The, the pursuit of perfection in appearance and being watched. You want to be perfect and thus you become arrogant. Because you can't be perfect. You, you can't be perfect and trying to be perfect without arrogance. That's just how it goes. So that's the Hawthorne effect. And it's applicable, yes, in scientific studies, but also in other things, especially it's even applicable like in animals or in the social world. Like in the social world, in the social climate, in friend groups, when friends are doing certain activities, whoever has the deemed authority, you know, the popular person, the funniest person, the tallest person when you're of a young age, like, you know, in, in like, primary school the most important person could run the fastest and that was the biggest of your worries if that person is watching over you either solely you on your own or solely you within a group you will perform better and you will perform more effectively and i think that is just simply due to as i've said wanting to appease this sort of authority and also a human sort of narcissism which wants us to be the best not just in the presence of authority, but especially in the presence of authority. If there are no authority there and we're doing the same task, yes, there's a narcissism within us not being active, but it's of course, if something's there, it's there. But just because we feel like we're not being watched, we don't have to do the job as best we can, we kind of shuck off the job because no one's really intent on us. But when they are, Boom, it snaps in, want to be the best, want to be perfect, want to do everything right. Because, of course, we want to appease this authority and we want to prove ourselves. And we're doing these things to prove ourselves, not to get the thing done, not to learn anything from the thing, not to succeed in the thing, to get it done and to have this person behind you feel some sort of recognition that you're remarkable, that you've done the job and you're, you've are you made them proud, you've made them... like want you to proceed within their grasp they want you to keep going and want to keep observing you that's what you think but really what they think is <laughs> i'm just um seeing how good this guy does because this is actually a science experiment when that's in a science room or when it's not in a science room you know maybe they will be proud of you maybe they won't uh it depends really and even if they have no inkling of wanting to be prouder 
of you, they're just looking at you because you're the nearest person to them, you will still have that sensation of wanting to be better, wanting to be proud, just because you have their eyes on you. And that is insane. And I just find that kind of a bit mind-boggling because I'm sure it affects me as well. I'm sure put in a situation not knowing the Hawthorne effect is in play, it would affect me. So that's the Hawthorne effect and how we do things to appear better and to appear at our best, basically.